Okay, this is James with the toolkit function, absolute value of x. Um, and when you put it in the calculator, it's graphed like this. Okay, then the domain is all real numbers, which you write a R with two lines. Um, the range is Y is greater than or equal to zero. And then the x-intercept coordinates are zero, zero, which is right there, and the y is also zero, zero. Then since it's going up, since the lines are going up, it's increasing. And the concavity is up. <clears throat> and then since it's absolute value the, in, in the function, um, the absolute value makes every number positive. So it's 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, and 2. And then... And then we have the horizontal, horizontal and vertical flip, flip transformations. Um, and you have to change the um, the formula to. And that will be graphed like this. Okay, then when you put the negative on the inside beside the X, your graph looks like this. And the absolute value, the absolute value function always flips over the vertex. Okay, then we move on to translations. Which is like the harder function, like for example, um, absolute value of x plus three, and all the all the number over here does is moves it up or down. So you just go up three, but it's the same graph. And then put in the Changing the number on the inside moves it side to side, like so. And so it's on the three over here. If you put it in the calculator. And this is James with um, the toolkit function absolute value of X. Thank you for your time.